Hey guys, this is Dimitri, and this year's CES was certainly an interesting one for Gigabyte. Not only we were shown their Ryzen motherboards behind closed doors, make sure to check out that video, but there were also a ton of other products on display too that were really cool, and we were immediately drawn to two never-before-seen Z270 motherboards and one very unique graphics card. This show coverage is possible thanks to NVIDIA, Gigabyte, Fantex, and NCIX. So let's start with an ITX form factor, and while many of you may be drawn towards larger form factor motherboards for their expanded feature sets, Gigabyte's upcoming Z270N Gaming 5 may be one of the best looking mini ITX motherboards we've seen in a long time. It has a simple yet effective black and orange color scheme, but what lies beneath the surface is what will define this board for its intended market. It was designed from the ground up for overclocking enthusiasts. So not only is the BIOS supposed to hold a ton of advanced options for people running liquid night nitrogen or ultra high end water cooling stuff, but there's also a 6 plus 2 all digital PWM and memory slots that support extreme memory speeds. Since this board and the BIOS are not complete yet, a lot of its high level specifications like officially supported memory frequencies are not known yet, but expect that information and a full review coming soon. Of course there are usual features like reinforced PCIe slots, USB 3.1 Gen 2 connectivity and an integrated Wi-Fi module and a rear mounted M.2 slot. The biggest standout, however, for this little board is its compatibility with Gigabyte's new OC touch control panel. This secondary PCB connects to the Gaming 5 ITX via a proprietary slot, and when installed, it sits at a 90 degree angle to the board itself. It actually houses many of its high end overclocking functions normally found on Gigabyte's larger, super overclocked motherboards, but makes them accessible on this very compact form factor. So it's crammed full of goodies like six extra PWM fan headers, buttons for power, reset, CMOS reset and a battery clear button that will surely come in handy. There are also manual hardwired controls for B-clock tuning, ratio selectors, Gigabyte's OC gear auto overclocking and toggle switches for CPU mode among other things. And finally along the bottom edge is a massive selection of voltage readout points. Unfortunately a postcode readout seems to be missing here and uh, this is all powered by a Molex power connector. And if you are looking for high overclocks out of a small motherboard it is very difficult to think of anything else that would beat this. The other motherboard which really caught our eyes was the Z270X Gaming SoC or Super Overclock. This series has an ongoing tradition for being one of the best motherboards on the market for extreme overclockers. There are four PCIe X16 slots, two M.2 slots, uh, one of which is Intel Optane compatible, and a few other overclocker friendly features like a postcode readout and an integrated OC touch buttons. You may also have noticed there are two USB 3 ports in an odd location right near the SATA connectors and those are actually perfect when using this board outside of the case within a professional overclocking environment. This board is also compatible with the OC touch panel that we talked about earlier for additional overclocking control. Another interesting move for Gigabyte was their introduction of Aorus branded products outside of their traditional notebook space. The plan here is to position Aorus branded motherboards, graphics cards and notebooks and peripherals also as their premium offerings, much like ASUS has done with their very successful Republic of Gamers lineup. Meanwhile, their more basic gaming series will loosely align with the ASUS Strix series. And from what we saw at CES, the Aorus motherboards looked really good with plenty of high-end features and some interesting capabilities too and expect the reviews of all of them very very soon. But there is one more thing on display. This is Gigabyte's new Aorus GPU which is based upon Gigabyte's extreme design but incorporates a few minor cosmetic changes. Now I say new because the actual graphics core in here is so new we can't even tell you what it is. Let's just say it will be launching from Nvidia very soon and the positioning of Aorus as a premium high-end brand matches perfectly with this core's target market. It will certainly be an interesting springtime at Harbor Canucks offices so that that's it from Gigabyte at CES 2017 and as we start to wrap up our coverage, stay tuned for just a little bit more and I'll see you in the next video.